Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So with uh, it being the Easter long weekend and having these lockdown laws in Australia, I thought it'd be a good time to do some projects that I've been meaning to do in the fish room uh, and get them done and sorted. Now one of those projects was to create a new manifold for my air pump. So as you can see, it's kind of a jumbled mess up here with this air pump and you can see the manifold that I've got here has 14 outlets. So while that was fine to run all the air pumps on this top row of tanks, there's 12 tanks here, so I had two spare outlets. Now that I've got the new rack that's behind me, I need additional outlets. These tanks, some of them have double-headed sponge filters in them, some don't, like my Tretz tank there. They're getting their oxygen from the sun. And the reason not all these tanks have uh, double-headed sponge filters in them is that because I have some fish in these tanks and I needed outlets to power the sponge filters in these tanks. That's why some of the tanks on the top row don't have sponge filters in them at the moment because I don't have enough outlets on my air pump. So this rack is going to have two sponge filters per tank, two double-headed sponge filters per tank. Now to do that, I need at least, and to maintain the 12 sponge filters up here in the top row of tanks, I need at least 36 outlets on a manifold. So today's project is to build that manifold and show you how I'm going to construct it. I believe I need another four sponge filters from last count. Um, I've purchased a lot of them off eBay and I've got a, I think I've got about 20 sponge filters in boxes ready to go. The sponges themselves for the sponge filters have been cycling in my sump for easily over a month. And I obviously did that so once I pop them into these tanks they are pretty much cycled media ready to go. I won't get a cycle in these tanks. These tanks will be ready to go, ready to stock fish in them. So I think I've rambled on long enough now. I am going to get to straight into building this manifold and I'll show you the process I go through to build the manifold. It's really quite easy with some PVC pipe. So let's get into it guys. So the first thing that you need is this black rubber attachment to connect to the manifold. So this is very important that you don't lose this part. Uh, it comes with your air pump when you buy it. So this is gonna be the first attachment that's gonna to attach to some PVC that I've got ready to go. And then from that, we're gonna step up the PVC with connectors to uh, 25 mil PVC pipe. And so here is where the black rubberized piece from the air pump is gonna to connect to. This is 15 mil PVC pipe. Obviously, I just need a short section of this. This is just an off cut from when I was doing the plumbing on the fish room. So I didn't need to buy additional PVC for this. So we've got, I'm gonna cut a section about this long, about an inch or two long. And then that's gonna to connect to this adapter. This um, adapter is a 15 mil to 20 mil adapter. And this is purely to step up the PVC pipe to this uh, larger 25 mil PVC pipe. So this pipe here goes to uh, is 20 mil. So again, a very small section is gonna be used. And then this is gonna to connect to that section. And uh, this is a 20 to 25 mil connector. And then it's gonna be connected to this pipe. So this is a, another spare pipe that I had from my fish room build, from the plumbing, that's 25 mil. And then it's gonna have this end cap on it. So that end cap won't need to be uh, glued down. It can it will just be nice, tight, snug, tight fit. None of this will be glued down. Um, it'll just be a nice, snug fit, and that should be airtight. So I'm going to cut this, obviously, this section off, um, and then just have this as the manifold. As you can see, it's very long. I probably don't need it this long, but this will enable me for future use. If I do need to put in more um, outlets on the manifold, I'll have the room to do so. So guys, I've laid the measuring tape against the manifold. I'm just gonna mark out every inch on the manifold. Uh, there's this, I've just decided that that's the spacing I'm gonna use for the taps. Come on. 
Okay, now we start fitting the taps. Next minute. So there we go guys, here's the manifold ready. All I need to do now is cut up these PVC pieces, um, attach them to this, and then I can attach it to the um, air pump. So I'm just gonna quickly do that with my PVC cutter. So this PVC cutter is meant to cut up to 32 mil PVC, but it doesn't, it's very dangerous cutting. PVC pipe that large with this little guillotine. So um, I can only cut 20 mil pipe, nothing larger than 20 mil pipe. So if you've never cut PVC, it's heaps better using one of these than a uh, hacksaw. It's a nice clean cut, no uh, PVC dust, um, and it's a really nice easy cut to do. So you just grab the PVC, clamp it down, and then just score it back and forth. And eventually the cutter goes through, and then you're done. So. This PVC is going to go here. This one's going to go here. And this goes here. And then this whole thing connects to the air pump. So I'm just going to clamp the rubber onto this part here. I have moved the air pump. All the tanks at the top um, are getting their oxygen supply from the sump. Um, so these fish will be fine for a few hours until I complete uh, moving all the oxygen over to the new location with the sump and the new manifold. Uh, the tanks that needed oxygen from a separate pump uh, because they're not on this on the sump on this side are over here. So these four tanks, I'm sorry, this tank has sponge filters in it but no fish so I'm using the, the two outlets from the sponge from the air pump from this aquarium to power Air in this aquarium with my Legit Blue Rams and this aquarium where my Lampralogos Ocelotus Gold are. And then there's two outlets on this bristle nose tank from that little pump. So I really don't have to rush now. The only aquarium that doesn't have any oxygen at the moment is the Guppy and the Guppy tank. Um, but this won't take me long at all to um, hook up all the tanks now. Uh, to the new manifold uh, with where the pump is in its new location. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these little felt pads underneath the legs of the air, air pump, a little sided tape on the back and uh, little felt pads so hopefully that will help suppress some of the vibration of the air pump. Okay guys, the air pump is in its new spot and all the tanks that require sponge filters are hooked up to that manifold. So that manifold has 36 outlets attached to it and it's taken me pretty much all day to get um, to connect them all up and make it all nice and neat, getting all the links uh, right. So, 12 tanks up on here have line running to them. I need an additional four sponge filters still. And all 12 tanks on this new rack have two sponge filters in them each, double headed sponge filters, and they're all running. Now, this air pump is an LP60 that I got off eBay and it runs at 70 litres per minute. Now it comes with a manifold when you buy them off eBay with 14 outlets and obviously with my additional 12 tanks that I have here I needed more outlets to um, power these tanks so that's why I've made this manifold with 36 because all that the 14 were obviously good for me for the time for at the time because all I needed was 12 outlets to run the top row of tanks and I used an additional two outlets to power my water change water. Now this as I said comes with 14 outlets uh, the LP60 70 litres per minute but it's um, actually running off it 36 sponge filters. So really impressed with the power this air pump has. If you're considering creating, making a fish room uh, and you're not sure whether you should get the LP60 or the LP100, which are both common uh, air pumps that people use in their fish rooms, you know, the, the LP60 is a little cheaper. Maybe consider it, maybe that's all you need. Uh, as you can see, the air that's coming out of these sponge, fil out of these sponge filters is I, I believe sufficient. I mean, some of them are a little lower. I have to adjust the, the intakes a little bit better. Um, but 
yeah, it's it's not bad for you know pushing air to to 36 uh, sponge filters. Your other option is the LP100, and that's 140 liters a minute, but um, it has 33 outlets on its manifold. So I still would have been three outlets short with that one. Obviously, it's going to be generating a lot more air, a lot more oxygen to each tank because it's a more powerful air pump. But value for money if you don't need that much more oxygen um, in your tanks. Like you can see, like I said, there's a lot of air coming out of these sponge filters. Um, maybe, maybe this is an option for you guys if you're considering it running a fish room and don't want to purchase the more expensive air pump, the LP100. Um, the other thing to factor into is the wattage. How, much, how many watts does it run on uh, you know, for your power consumption? So yeah, if you're considering both, uh, tossing up between the two, the LP100 or the LP60, honestly guys, give the LP60 um, a really good look and considering just you know, making your own manifold like I have here done today. Um, also what I've done is I've labeled each tank, you can't really see it here. Uh, wow, there we go. <laughs> I've labeled each tank um, with numbers so um, I know when I go back up to the manifold what air taps I am shutting off and opening up because otherwise it's going to be very hit and miss. So they're all, they're all numbered up there. Um, so basically this tank is one, this tank is two, this tank is three and so forth goes down and then I do it again for the top row. And here are the numbers guys. So you can see what I did. They're on a white electrical tape. So if I do require to change the numbers, I can just pull the electrical tape off and go again. You can see how I tried to run the lines as neatly as possible across the top of the tanks. And yeah, it's taken a while to do. And there, just so you can see, LP60. So the other thing that's happening this week is um, I'm getting some new lights. So lights to power this entire rack are arriving this week. So this light will go back to its original spot up here. I'm also getting power boards, nice black power boards, like I have on these stands and uh, for, for this rack. So I'll be getting them this week, so I'll be able to get rid of this ugly wiring and make it all nice and neat and get it out of the way. But yeah, guys, that's about it for today. I hope you really enjoyed that video and found it informative. If you did, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. All right, I'll wrap this one up now, guys. Thanks, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.